Okay, another question I get is, should my users have bios? Should they have pictures? And how do we do that? It's a little weird in WordPress. So I'll show you how you can uh, get staff photos and bios. Bios are easier, so I'll start with those. So you'll want to go into your dashboard and click on users and then click your profile. So every person, regardless of their ability to contribute, you know, whether they're contributors, subscribers, they have access to their own profile and they can come into the profile and they can add their bio here under biographical info. So when you create usernames for everybody, you don't have to create their bios. You can make the students do it themselves and then you can just uh, have them turn it in and you can look at it and make sure it's appropriate. So bios are easy. Now, headshots are a little harder. So WordPress doesn't have a built-in profile photo area. Um, if you look at the Your Profile page, uh, it just it doesn't have any way of putting a photo in. So what you want to do is have the students register with a service called Gravatar. So G-R-A-V-A-T-A-R.com avatar with the GR in front of it. And then they need to um, enter their email to get started. And I'll bet I won't be able to because I have already done this service. Get your avatar. So um, yeah, it's going to be a mess for me trying to use this because I already have Gravatar. But what Gravatar is basically is the students will create an account on Gravatar. And let me sign in. I can remember my credentials. Okay, so all there is. And so um, what Gravatar is is a service for organizing profile photos. So I have registered four email addresses with Gravatar, and then I can upload different images to be used by Gravatar. And anytime my address is used with a WordPress profile, so here in my profile, for the site I was showing you, it says my email is megan.mcnames at gmail.com. Anytime that's used, um, megan.mcnames at gmail.com, Gravatar sees that and whatever photo I've chosen displays that photo. So for my old work email address, I created a work Gravatar and then I just want the same for all the different emails. So the students will need to come into here, whatever email you've used for their username, they'll need to register that email here and then upload their photo. And that will cause the uh, WordPress site to grab the photo from Gravatar and show it with users, uh, with user profiles on the WordPress site. So it's a little convoluted because it seems like it should you should just easily be able to upload a photo here, but that's not how it works. Um, you have to go through Gravatar, or you can get a plugin. Um, let me show you real quick a plugin that you can use instead of using Gravatar. Okay, here on the plugins page of the School Pub site, there is a plugin called user avatar. You can upload this to your WordPress site and I'll show you screenshots. And now what it will do is in the uh, settings you can add photos of users. So either way it's really not simple. <laughs> Whether you um, use Gravatar or this plugin you have to do a little bit of extra work to get the photo but I highly suggest getting the photo and the bio put together for each student and once you have done that I would also suggest getting this plugin called Fancier Author Box. It's going to put an author box at the end of each article so readers can see who wrote the article in a more interesting way than just seeing a name. So I'll show you some screenshots from there. So it'll make this, it'll make a little bio, your student, the student's name, their bio, how to get in touch with them on Twitter, Facebook, if they want those things, and then you can see their latest posts. So I'll include a link to that um, here in the video, so you can get it if you'd like. That's uh, basically it, how to make bios, how to add staff photos, and um, a couple plugins that you can use to make your site kind of stand out and have... Uh, different and interesting way of showing those bios and photos.